In this video, we'll be looking at two different configurations of Cisco and Juniper side by side. The first half is configuring a layer 3 interface on a Cisco and Juniper router, connecting them, then pinging each other. The second half of the video is configuring three different networks using sub interfaces on a Cisco side by side with a Juniper, then initiating pings across all three networks. I'm using the network emulator Eve NG running virtual images of a Cisco running VIOS and a Juniper VSRX in packet mode, making it a small router. I'll have a different video on how to do that. We first start by showing our router interfaces on both. We're going to use Giggy00 on the Cisco and Giggy000 on the Juniper. Next, we're going to enter configuration mode on both and drill into the interface configuration. Keep in mind, on the Juniper side, there's a few different ways to enter this command, but I'm following a methodology that's close to how Cisco does it, so you can gain confidence that you're doing the same thing on both. Also, on the Cisco, you have to remember to do a no shut to enable the interface. On Juniper, the interface will be enabled by default. You'll notice the unit zero on the Juniper. Unit zero is reserved for an interface that only has a single address and not VLAN tagged. After configuring the IPs on either side, we should be able to ping. Nothing too crazy going on here. Here we're validating what we have configured. It looks like our interfaces are in a down state at this moment. Since we're using a virtualized environment, we're going to connect them together. Now we can see that our interfaces have come up and our show IP interface brief and show interface terse confirm that our wires are now connected. We can also see that we can ping from either end. The second half of the video is configuring three different networks using sub interfaces on a Cisco side by side with a Juniper. This is a variation of a router on a stick. Traditionally, you would have an access switch with different VLANs trunked up to a router with sub interfaces, but we're mixing it up a bit here to show the translated mirror image of the Cisco to a Juniper. The configuration approach on the Cisco side is to indicate the sub interface value, the trunking encapsulation type, the VLAN tag, then the IP address. The Juniper side, you'll notice we're making use of the unit numbers. This number is ambiguous, just like the Cisco one, but it's always nice to have a numbering system matching the VLAN so, to, so that it's easier to follow. The VLAN tagging command tells the whole interface that it contains tagged interfaces. 802.1Q is implied since it is the trunking open standard. But overall, the approach is very similar. In the end, you have the same type of configuration on both sides, and each sub-interface can ping its counterpart. You'll notice some handy Juniper commands here, such as show pipe compare, which will tell you what you are about to add before you save it. Top, which takes you back to the top of the configuration when you're in edit mode. I recommend doing a top before doing a show pipe compare so you can globally see all of your queued changes. And finally, commit, which puts all the commands you entered into operations. 